So currently I'm in my onesie, I don't know if you can tell, but that's because I'm going to be doing a video on differences between college and high school. So dress code. In high school, my high school's dress code was pretty strict. No spaghetti straps, no leggings with skirts, no baggy pants, a lot of things that you couldn't wear. You couldn't even have piercings. Um, unless they were on your ears and that was it. But in college, it's about being a free spirit and they're so open, welcoming. And um, I could wear my onesie to class if I wanted to. People may look at me weird and be like, oh, why is that girl wearing a onesie? But I can do onesies all day, every day. Yeah, I don't have to wait for pajama day. Pledging allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. In my high school, um, in the morning, we'd have to pledge allegiance to the flag. And um, that'd be kind of weird doing that now, especially since you have people from all over the world. We're all inclusive and it's about unity and feeling the love. I think it feels better than feeling the love. Everybody knows that when push comes to shove. Rambling. Yeah, but um, yeah, you don't have to pledge allegiance to the flag every morning. Ugh, I'm not used to that anymore. Bells. You don't have bells telling you when to go to class, when to go to lunch, when school is over. Now you just go to class. If you miss your anthropology class that's on you, there's no bell saying, oh, five minutes to anthropology. There are no morning and afternoon announcements. In high school, I was lucky enough to do some a little bit. But um, yeah, there's nobody telling you, guys, there's a football game coming up, there's such and such going on which I kind of wish there was because I miss out on a lot of events sometimes because I'm like, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. No. PDA, my high school, you couldn't hold hands, you couldn't hug people because it was sexual harassment. But um, now, you can do that, you can make out with people, you can hold hands, you can do whatever you want. I don't know if this is just me or if it's everybody, but people's last names, I don't know people's last names in college. It's usually like, oh yeah, Michael Dining Hall or Jessica 1102, like things like that. I, their last name is usually where I met them, especially my phone, because I'm like, oh yeah, that's where I met you. But I rarely know people's last names. Unless you live in a dorm, fire drills are a rarity, and usually they email you telling you when the fire drill is. Although one time, but this was a real fire. So and I was in the shower and I had to go out there in my towel and everything, because if you stay inside, you can't get fired. But now I live in an apartment, there really are no fire drills. So no more, yes, no test today because there's a fire drill. Nah, that doesn't happen. Eating lunch. Um, you can eat lunch whenever you want. There's no bell telling you what time you have to be in lunch. Like, I can eat lunch at 11.15 or I can eat lunch at 2 p.m. Eating lunch whenever, wherever. Assigned seating. There's no assigned seats in college. Usually people are, humans are creatures of habit, so they like to sit in the same seats mostly every day. But there's, you're not going to get reprimanded for it by your teacher telling you. Eloni, that's not your seat. You're in row number two, seat number three. Class cancellations. You know, teachers cancel classes a lot in college. I've had this semester class that class was canceled about 20 times, and I'm not exaggerating. So um, if you don't check your email beforehand and you show up, you're like, oh, dang, class is canceled, and I'm here right now. But um, yeah, in high school, usually if class is canceled, the whole school is canceled, and that's because of weather issues. So those are some of the differences between high school and college that I picked up on. If you have any, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.